Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of an Aussie Farming in the Philippines. Well, it's time for me to do my afternoon job. <coughs> my afternoon job is shepherded. So I take different hats out today. So today I've got my Vietnamese hat, but times I have my <coughs> Andrew Smarter leather hat. So, it's, what's the time? It's just after one o'clock. Just after one. So the, all the babies are sitting here, sitting there like little bitches. So what I'll do now is I'll take them out the back for a couple of hours and stand with them. Uh, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, Samson. Samson, well, fuck with me. I love this little one here with his bent back ears. Absolutely gorgeous, this little one. Come on, girls and boys. Bop. Bop. All right, so I've got my thermos of coffee. I've got cigarettes in my pocket. And I've got my shave. And I said, every afternoon now I do this since um, since Danny got misled away somewhere and put a couple of farms over down a fucking well. And I said, very strange, that one. Very strange. Considering when they eat, they always stay together. But uh, not to worry. So I'll take him out and I'll piss off way up over the back for sure. Definitely. Right, oh, the gate's unlocked already. Come on, Nanny, lead the girls away. Oh. Come on, big ball, Samson. Leave that. So I have my stick. I used to use pieces of bamboo, but they used to break. So uh, I've got the old ones from the gate, from the old fences. Uh, now I've got my gummies on. Got my gummies on. Because the mud up through here is horrendous. Now they'll move from one area to the other. Like they'll eat, say these type of leaves. They'll eat there for about 10 minutes or more. And then I'll move over here and eat something else. Then I'll move over there and eat something else. They're like they're having um, different courses. You know, different courses of salads. Shh, shh. Come on, big balls. Big balls, bigger ball, bigger ball, ball bearings. So I joke about that. All right, see where they go. I walked through this water the other day and I had the slippers on, the fongs or the jandals, and it was bloody hot water. And the bloody sun was just so hot. Oh, they're settling down now. Uh, let's see where they end up today. Okay, here she comes, the one that just had babies. So Chick's got the baby goat with her, and she sits there with it in her lap like it's a little fucking baby. And she's just let mama out now, so mama's catching up. Come on, girlfriend. Oh, hang on, have a piss first. Oh, that's better, she says. Ah. Okay, where is everyone? The tits are fucking big. I don't know if she's feeding the baby or not. She's caught up. So we like to bring the mama out. So Chick looks after the baby gate, the newborn. And uh, the mama now, she'll hang around with these guys and have a big feed. That way she's getting the nutrition into her. <sighs> this one's the orphan one, this little one on the end. It was third. Triplets born and uh, mama rejected it. So uh, Chick has to give a lot of bottles to that one extra. A lot of bottles. <sighs> So it's sort of a loner, little girl. All right, so they decided they want this grass now. All right, so all I do now is I just stand here. When they move, I move. So 
So I have my cigarettes with me. I have my thermos of coffee. And I'll be out here for the next two hours minimum. If they eat a lot, I'll probably head over about four o'clock. They eat a lot. Oh, so it'll be probably about three hours I'll be out here for. But what can you do? Your babies, you got to look after them. You know, you can't just tie them to a pig and fuck off and say, oh, these haven't got food for them and they die. You know? Oh, I forgot them. Forgot the feed the goats. And they all died. Oh, what a fuckwit. Oh, young ones stay to give a look. So when they graze, they always graze together, guys. That's how I can't understand how Nanny got separated from them. I really don't. They all graze together, they're all even shoulder length to each other, a couple of metres max. Very good condition, I tell you. They are in very good condition. Right, so this is the end of Mary Lou's property here. She's got all the bananas from here. The house is up over where the coconuts are. This is her land up through here. This is where the old road, they were going to put the road in here to go down through there. That's what they were going to do, but they changed their mind, which is a shame because Mary Lou missed out on some good money. And her land there, she's got that up under um, loan for 20 years. So the people, she put it up for loan. Hey, 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 hey. Where you going? Hey. Come on. Hey, you. Hey. Come on. Right, they can eat in here, but they can't go into the bananas. So she's got that on lease for 20 years. She's leasing there to these people for the banana growing for 20 years. See so if you did time, they, um, they get the lease back. But the kids will inherit it, so it's no issue. Change insides again. Hip, hip. Hip. They're very dominant, these, these big ones with the horns. Very dominant. But when they're eating away, they're eating away like this. And if one of the other ones are next to them, they'll just pull, smash straight into them, headbutt them in the ribs. Fucking cruel as anything they are. So like, there's so much grass there, but they, you're eating my grass, oh, this is my patch, bang. Especially this bitch here with the big horns. Oh, they made a plane flying over. Right on the flight path here, they fly out of the vow. Where are we? Off the, they fly out of the vowel over here, they fly off, go around the water, do a bank around to the left and they come up through here and they head north, like to Manila, Cebu, etc, etc, etc. So all the planes always fly across our land, all the time. Right, so we go to the land here, this is the peg markings. So these blocks here are quite good, they're right on the edge here. But when you come further down over there, it drops down halfway through their blocks. So I don't know how they're going to be settling in. These ones here, I see they've got a creek running along the back, especially the ones across this area over here. So I don't know what the fuck they're going to do. They've got a creek running through their, through their land. And so look at these ones here, imagine this corner block. And all the way down through here, look at that, look at the drop off. <laughs> so pity whoever brought those blocks of land there and whoever brought these blocks across here and it's even worse over the other side. We'll end up back there later on. Hey, stop pushing. Hey, don't be a bitch. See if she pushes him. You a bitch, you are. Oh, she's a bitch. If, if, if the goats are pregnant and they do that, that's what causes miscarriage on them. We've had that before. Okay, the little ones, they haven't learnt yet. All they do is eat. The older ones, they'll put their head down, take about three or four big bites, then they'll lift their head up and they look around. They're always looking around. And they'll put their head down, take three or four bites, lift their head up, look around.
Oh, turn to the sides again. We've got the runs on now. We're uh, missing this block altogether now. Uh, so you got to stay with them. Like, Chick will sit there with a chair outside the back fence and just look and say, oh yeah, they're over the back over here or they're over the back over there. And it's like, okay. So now on, I stay with them now. That's it. It's uh, so amazing that these blocks of land up here. Bloody hell. The strange thing about the gates is they don't like eating where they've walked. So now they've just crossed over and they're all humping down in through here now. And they'll fight to see who can stay on the front line. And if someone else is on the front line, then they'll just bump into them. Hey, you, you, hey. Shit, shit, I don't know where the fuck they're going now. Right, these these are the squatters, these ones here. These are the local Aborigines. Or as they call them, local Abos. So if you call them that in Australia, you get called a fucking racist and everything else. But um, that's what the Filipinos call them here. The woolly squatter ones in through here, in through here. Yeah, people live in there, guys. People live in there. Got all the washing out on the line. No electricity, no nothing. Nothing at all. Catch up. And so we're back where we started again. Very restless today. Normally they, they'll leap through and I'll come through the line and go right the way around the back, right over the side corner over there and come back towards the house. But today they're very restless. Very restless. Oh, back again, follow on. Well guys, it's bloody hot in the sun, I tell you. Every day like this. You see, it's this bloody hot, a sweat pouring out of me. And um, there's no shade. I might get some shade later on if I can get up over the back area. But um, it'll be like this, then um, the rains will come about uh, four o'clock, pissing down. I'm chasing the goats back home as fast as I can because it's pissing down with rain. But the afternoon's changed from this dramatic heat that we've got now. Right the way through to um, run. It's raining. But the third time they've walked up the back there now. The third time. Fucking weird. Not settling down at all today. We're on the move again. Drink time. And his shade. Oh, you beauty. Oh, I don't know where the hell we're going now. So the nanny or the one with the big horns. Lead the way. The young ones got lost over here. Oh, this is nice. I'll go over here for a little bit. Clump of dirt near them, that gets them over. Oh, they want a different, on the, on the little trees now, something different, another course. Oh. Well, I mean, I'll just show you the land over this side, while we're down over here now. Now, these are the blocks starting here. Now, these go back 10 metres back. And there's a creek running all the way through there. Very deep, it's very, very deep. Probably about two metres deep. Uh, it's cut down, of course the water's only about a foot deep down at the bottom, but uh, uh, If you look at this I think you didn't have no fucking snakes in here uh, uh, oh, 
hate walking through here. See, look at that, look, way down there, there we go. Now there's a peg over there, look, there's a peg there. Fuck was that? Oh, it's getting shit out of me. So there's a peg over there, so imagine that's their black box there. There'd be another peg over in here somewhere. And they've got this running through, through their land. I don't think they um, looked at the land, they only just looked at the plot plan. And you look at these ones here, this is all in terraces, look, one, two, three. And when Chick talked to the real estate people about our land, as he, they said, oh, we'll fill that and we'll put it on paper and sign it. And it means fuck all to us. And Dusty said, I don't know why you're complaining, Chick. You want to see what the people have got along here? Well, they have to contend with. So these blocks are only cheap. They're only 35000 each with these ones, whereas they're 100000 So it makes you wonder, doesn't it? it? makes you wonder. And that's where the road's going to come through down over here. Then shoot through banana land up through that way but I hope to have brought the land down this end of town and over the back over there our, our land at the back paddock comes down from this corner here comes down from here it comes down to where these big trees in the back here see that big tree bastard is there that's our corner and all the blocks from back in there oh ugly as my first wife mate ugly as my first wife Alright. <sighs> Away from home still. They'll end up over here into all this other stuff later on. It must be getting full because they're fucking fat. Right. I'm at the shelter. We've got a seat. I'm taking advantage of it too, I tell you. So, time to sit down. I've got my coffee with me. So I'll have a coffee. Sit down here for a minute. Looks like Samson's going to head off again. I'll tell you what, you enjoyed the beer tonight at five o'clock at the gate, guys. I tell you, bloody A. Oh. Well, I got got a smoke in while I was over there so that wasn't too bad so now they moved on to another course now onto this leafy stuff here that's this shit here look they love this shit they love it they don't like the old ones but they like the uh, fresh shoots that come out and this stuff grows like anything like if they don't do something with this road within two weeks it will be starting to grow back again through here and in a month it will be fully covered again fully covered this shit grows so fast you see with the banana people where they they lay the plastic tarpaulins down on the ground and they'll be doing their cutting up of the bananas, drying them in the sun. And when they move off into another area, within days you see it growing back and within two weeks it's totally covered again, totally covered. It's amazing growing, but it's good tucker for the goats, this stuff. Right, so back to the real estate area again. So this is the fence for the long here's Norwegian guy owns that. Uh, that area over there is Norwegian fella. So you can see where the pegs are down through here, the back up onto there. It just gets uglier as you go down through here. Well, imagine, imagine whoever bought these blocks here. I don't know what the fuck they can do with that. And even worse is the ones on that side of the road. Backs down onto the creek. I tell ya. They should have come out and had a look, not just bought off the plan. Oh, my babies. Oh, here comes Chick Chick with the baby. I don't know if you can see her down there with the red cap. So you guys don't have a zoom on the GoPro. You can't have everything. I should be heading back and get some water soon. Uh, let's see what she's got with the baby. Ah, wait, it's Chick the Goat Lady. <laughs> Boo Boo. Boo boo! Hey, tropical team won the draw, and yeah. the little one is called Boo Boo. Where's all the picnic baskets, Yogi? <laughs> Go on, get in there and eat. Go on, fat bellies. So that's why the goats are so calm, guys, because chick hand raises them more. Every one of them. Bottle feeds them more, looks after them more. Right, for the first time, he like finished his two ounces of milk. Ah. 
The bottle feeding good. Yeah, and the mama also look at her. The titties are huge. Uh, milk, amount of milk. And if you press it, you we won't even have to like suck uh. it. As soon as you press it, boosh. Good. Get that um, milk and cradle done. Mm. That's the next project, guys. We've got to do is the um, the milking cradle and a dehorning a dehorning box. This is the mother here, the white one. Right, so we're heading, we're heading close to heading back. Chick's going to get some water out for them. But um, this, like I said, this road that they put down here to make this extra land to sell on the side. And this is all just terrace. Look at it. So this is this is our marker tree, that one big one there. That's our marker tree in the corner. Our fence goes from there up to the top, then around from there along the creek, over this way. I feel sorry for those poor people who brought this. I really do. Hey, stop fighting! Molly! Right, I'm walking back over towards Chickies. You've got buckets of water there for them. And uh, they can, when it's not really hot, they don't need water because they get all the, they get the moisture out of all the leaves. And they can go all day. You see, people will tie them up and, uh, with a peg. Okay! They'll tie them up with a peg and just leave them there all day. Yeah, because they don't need water. But in this heat, it's so bloody hot, it's like... Oh, get off my fucking shirt, Cam. Get off, bitch. Oh. Well, look at the sweat pouring out of me. You know? It's bloody hot. Bloody hot, mate. I tell you, black. It's bloody hotter than my bloody sister, mate. I tell you, we go down the river with a flagon. We get a couple of beers and you can take my sister there, mate. Oh, where they going now? bucket of fresh water so they're drinking that puddle stuff <sighs> come on drink little bugger that's it come on no that's it come on then hit it suck it that's it get into it bitch oh thanks mum <sighs> right so while I go to here with chick chick I've went, went over now and just watered all the chickens, give all the pigs a nice hosing down because they're hot as hell as well. So they're all washed down nicely, all the water bowls are full, everyone's happy over there. Now the goats are headed back up the top. Uh, I tell you, I tell you how hot it is guys, it's bloody hot. Hot, hot, hot. Right, head back up to these gates. Yeah, we'll go back to your baby. So baby's had a drink of a mama. Bastard hands. And she's like, hey, where's my baby? But it's fun the storm's up over the back here again. So hopefully we'll only be another hour out with these bastards. It's down a full lap. Up and down through here three times. Up through there, right the way around. And all the way back to here. And now they're coming back up through here again. Uh, I think they'd just eat in one bloody spot and be done with it, wouldn't you? Well, we've got the storm clouds and the thunder brewing again. She's going to be pissing down again at four o'clock, I'd say. As it goes around us, it's raining over that way. You can see. Oh, the life of a goat herder is fun. Look, like the rain might be going over towards Santa Thomas Way. By the looks of things, but uh, all the goats just stopped. Now they're all just walking back home. I think they're going to go out to another area. Oh, my legs are tired. All right, so they finished. They said I've had enough. So what time you let them out, hun? What's the time now? I let them out at 1.30. Huh? Nearly 4 o'clock. Oh, well, that's it then. So they've had their normally feed for two hours. So they've had a big feed. Now they're saying, all right, I've had enough. Well, that's good. So I can go and do all the animals now. Oh, it never stops on the farm, does it? It never stops. All right, off with my shirt cam. Alright guys, so that's us goat herding in the Philippines. Hope you enjoyed it. What's the end screen up here? This is a, um, today's end screen is going to be Tropical Tim in the Philippines. He's got something to pass on to everybody he has. 
So, Tropical Tim in the Philippines, to you, buddy. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.